Alright guys, have to go back again today. Hope you're doing well and enjoying your day so far. And quite the stunning turn of events here in Rostamania with Los Angeles Thieves' Octane deciding to call it a day and retire from competitive Call of Duty. This comes at a time where he was arguably the most complete AR player of the previous season and is still playing at the peak of his powers. Why has he made this decision? Why is it so shocking to the community? What does it mean for Rostamania and what Thieves might decide to do? Very much intrigued to your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. Way. So I've heard about this for a few days now and I know that many of us in the community were waiting for this announcement to happen It's been you know I've tried to keep it off the videos the last few days right because I wanted to ensure as did many of the other people that had heard about this that it didn't become Public knowledge before Octane released it and revealed it himself and as soon as you went live tonight I was like alright here we go the announcement is about to arrive I will say it's remarkable how this emerged as a rumor on reddit several months ago now pretty much out of nowhere to my understanding. People were trying to put together the breadcrumbs of, oh, you know, he's got this house in Virginia, he's won everything there is to win in Call of Duty, he's got his wife now, and people thought, maybe Octane's considering it and setting things up, and maybe I dropped a few, you know, little hints in videos over the past few days, but it's now been officially confirmed, and before we get to the Octane stuff, just wanted to mention plenty of other chaos happening today. The COD League actually confirmed all the free agents that have been officially announced so far. Ghosty and Hook, of course, what we've seen with Boston, Minnesota Rocker. They only announced, though, the ones that that have actually been confirmed by the teams themselves. So we saw Stanley, and there's more actually than just Stanley we'll see in a second. Hixie, of course, the Gorillas guys, and then the Florida Mutineers, pretty much complete squad wipe over there, the Ravens situation, and then they say that they will confirm more when those players confirm more, which they will shortly thereafter do. And just look at this here, right? I mean, Octane, of course, is gone from Thieves, but he was going to be gone anyway, at least in terms of the fact that his contract was at an end. The teams are sparsely populated, to say the very least at the moment. The majority majority of the league is gone, right? And even as Theory confirms here from the Vegas side, they only have their players on one-year deals. They didn't even have a team option there, right? So TJ's an unrestricted free agent, plenty of others sit in a similar boat. Also, Seattle decided not to extend Gwyn, who is a pretty promising Challengers player and just won the Challengers World Championship. And the fact that Seattle have no other players on that team. So definitely a strange decision from Surge not to extend a player that you'd have thought would have made a fair bit of sense to do so, but maybe they going down an entirely different route and want to completely squad wipe as they are. So just to mention for you guys, these are the full list. Now I think Octane's on here, but of course he will be subtracted, I suppose. The full list of CDL unrestricted free agents. This is your list on the left-hand side. This is how manic Rostermania is, and especially so with Octane departing as we'll get into in a second. All of these players are free, they can join anywhere, there are big decisions to be made by many of these teams, and it's approximately 70% as people we're finding rather funny of all the players have just become UFAs. That is a remarkable number and it's indicative of the chaos that is to come. But let's talk about the Octane situation then because I saw this yesterday from Thieves where they said tomorrow loading and then it was actually confirmed in the replies by the producer over there that this is not a 0 to 100 episode. This is an other announcement and I think at that point many of us who had you know heard about this knew what was coming. So Octane confirms he's done it with Call of Duty. I wanted to share a few minutes here from the video itself and also afterwards on stream where he clarified his reasoning behind this decision. It's um, such a stunning one to the community though and it took me a few days to really process what this meant when I heard about it because it just seems so surprising for a player that is playing so well. I'm retiring just because I want to go home. <laughs> I want to have that family aspect of my life that I really haven't for a while. Um, And the day-to-day -day sucks. <laughs> um, the day-to-day -day is really like what sends me over the edge a little bit. Um, scrimming <laughs> and just dedicating literally all of my time to, to COD is, it's starting to get old where I'm at. You know, I think it's like year eight or nine or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, the day-to-day -day is definitely taken over and gotten a little monotonous. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like some time for my fiance, I'd like some time for my family. Um, and when you're competing and as, as blessed as I have been for however many years it's been at this point, um, that's kind of all you have time for is COD. There is nothing, you miss a lot of holidays, birth. Ugh, this is the only the only place that I ever wanted to play. Um, of course, I didn't know that beforehand, but I do now. Um, 
and I know <laughs> it's going to be a shock to a lot of people and that I'm not on optic or phase or wherever else that you guys had me going. Um, but I'm staying here. Um, I'm not going anywhere. Um, this is the place that I want to be, uh, even if I was playing again, which I'm obviously I'm not. I will not be coming back. <laughs> Just go ahead and get the, okay. clear the air right there. Um, yeah, this is the only place that I've ever wanted to play. So uh, once I won here in 2019 in Black Ops 4, um, that's the only feeling that I've ever cared about for up until now, essentially. So um, I was not leaving. I was never leaving. Even if I was playing, I wouldn't be leaving. Um, so you guys can rest assured there for anyone that would be curious if I was. Um, I would be staying here. So um, thank you to, to Matt and John and Jacob. And yeah, we're done, boys. I know if anyone has any questions i can try to to try to go through as much as i can um obviously filming that was extremely emotional for me and i've been thinking about it for a very long time um i think seattle kind of like put a halt on how i was feeling about competitive cod and then once i rejoined 100t and like had the success that i did last year um, I think winning champs was like kind of a bittersweet moment. Cause I knew that that was like what I had left. And then obviously like with me getting older and I kind of explained most of it in the video. Um, but it's just like living away from home for as long as I did. And I'm not going to get into it, but I had some personal stuff happen, um, over the last like year and a half that I just like, wasn't there for. Um, and that really sucked. So that was kind of like the tipping point, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm still going to be around. I'm not going anywhere, guys. Don't worry. So I don't think the numbers here from Octane season really do how good he was this year justice. I think you heard in the video, right, that he pretty much decided after last year's World Championship that it was going to be it for him. I think he decided this quite a while ago. It might have affected their team to some degree this season. They broke the champs curse, right? They won an event as a team after winning champs. That's never happened since the era when the World Championship has been at the end of the season. And Octane was a phenomenal player at the end of last year. He he was actually one of my picks this season to be the MVP. I thought he was going to be great at this game. Indeed he was and he was on the border of being a top five player in the game I think this season to be honest. The comms, the leadership, the experience, the slaying in the respawn modes. Okay his search and destroy has never been tip top but they won an event this year. Octane was a key piece as to why they made a couple of finals. I'm sure Octane feels somewhat frustrated that they couldn't go further at champs but it's crazy right that Octane decided I mean look fundamentally the game has deteriorated over the last couple of of years. We've talked about it with Method, with Skump, with other players that just straight up don't enjoy the grind as much as they used to. And partly that's the game. And I think that's a one analysis to be had. But partly it's just the players. They get older. Octane mentioned there that there's been family things that have gone on with him behind the scenes this year that he hasn't been able to be there for people that needed him to be there because of being over in Los Angeles, traveling all this for Call of Duty, not being at home with family. So it's incredibly commendable for Octane to make this decision because it can't have been an easy one given how good he still is right I mean it's very rare you see a player that is still probably has one of the best seasons of their career okay Octane might not be shooting quite as straight as he did you know let's say Infinite Warfare when he was absolutely unbelievable but in terms of a complete AR player there's probably no more complete AR player in the game right now than Octane we talked about FaZe could they upgrade with him we talked about Optic could they upgrade with him and arguably he would be an upgrade to both of those teams and certainly Thieves would want to keep him around he was never going to leave Thieves. That was clear. Like he'd said that before that he never intended to leave this organization. But as he said, when he was on Seattle Surge, that online period, but also just going through the motions there and then finally getting back to a good team again, winning the world championship with Thieves, completing the last thing that he hadn't done in Call of Duty. It was at that moment he realized he was probably going to retire after one more season. That's what he's done. And honestly, I think his career has in some senses been sneaky long. I think he played his first tournament even back in 2013, possibly in Black Ops 2. I think he went to some tourney like that but his first kind of pro tourney was here in 2014 2015 we're talking like pretty much a decade ago right i think octane's career is kind of underrated in terms of how long he's been around he's only been a real you know relevant force since kind of early black ops 3 when he was on that rice team that did so well but that's still like almost eight years ago at this point an absolute dominant force of an ar during the infinite warfare period on that luminosity gaming team world war 2 as well when he was on optic towards the end unfortunately didn't get the results then joined 100 
Thieves got the victories there, second at the World Championship that year, and since then it's been up and down, right? The Modern Warfare season was a disaster, as was Card War, because he was stuck on Surge. But since he was back on Thieves, got the success, got another event victory this season, and has decided to call it a day as a result. Six different Call of Duty titles he's won an event in, nine event wins overall, four tournament MVPs, including last year's World Championship. Like, an incredible career. So congratulations to Octane on a phenomenal history as a Call of Duty professional and for making this decision at this time because as I say it can't be easy when you're playing this well and he said in the video right like I'm still lasty like I've still got it absolutely but there's other things in his life that are taking priority and look he's been a great content creator even during his playing days and that will continue now and we'll see that here in a second just wanted to look at some reaction though from some pro players of course this is kind of crazy right that the entire dynasty okay they're not the dynasty but you know what I mean this entire team from World War 2 retired within the span of around about nine or ten months right crim six retired last off season scump was at the start of this year methods was shortly after that you know kind of helped by scump scump kind of said look Zilli, do you want to do this content thing and he said yes and now octane as well so yeah we've lost a lot of big names in the last several months only and it probably is about time where these things will start to happen but octane is especially stunning because i mean look crim six at the end of his career he wasn't the player that he was previously scump was still i think on the border of being a top 10 player but he wasn't exactly in his prime whereas right now you can argue that octane is prime octane like as i said before it's a complete package octane is arguably the best version of himself there has ever been and it's so rare for a player in any sport let alone this one for players to go out in that situation it's incredibly commendable but it also will make people think damn what could have been right like if octane was deciding to keep going and extend that legacy and win more tournaments and win another world championship like what could have been for Octane's career you know should he have thought well if I go another couple of years I could do XYZ and I could be considered like a top 10 player of all time and stuff like this but you know I'm sure that's not really crossing Octane's mind and he's made the decision that's best for him and absolutely congratulations for doing so and as Parasite says hate seeing these youngins retire the guy's only 26 right I mean it's not old and even in the Call of Duty context Sam definitely had a couple more and at least another ring in him and I certainly agree with that one and if this wants to load we're now looking at this there's only been four players ever that have won an event in their final season. Crim6, Zuma, Need Shots, and now Octane, right? It's very rare that a player wins or is particularly good in their final season, especially when you go out on your own terms, as Octane has done. As Doug says, right, Octane is one of the very few players that have ever walked away from the game at his peak, a legendary way to leave, absolutely. And um, look, he was for some time considered the best player to never win the World Championship. He's done that, he got his crowning achievement, and it's great to see. I thought this is kind of funny from Scrappy here as well, to be fair, all things considered. And we had lots of reactions to many other pros, such as this from Dashi. It was a pleasure to battle with you all of these years. So definitely a shocking one to the community, right? From so many different angles. Even if we look at this in terms of total finals appearances, Octane, you know, 15 grand finals in his career, won nine of those. Incredibly impressive stuff. And he did confirm at the end of the video, right? As expected that he will be joining 100 Thieves as a content creator. So look, Octane's going to be great in content. He was great in content as a player. And it's going to be a lot of fun to watch his videos and see his takes on things over the coming years and I'm sure that he's not been on his last touch grab thumbnail let's just say that right he's going to be saying something at some point that's going to make the headlines and um, you know that's great to see because we want to keep these guys around the community right it feels like when these guys do move on and retire whether they decided to on their own terms or whether they were kind of forced into it because they'd fallen off and that's certainly not the case with Octane right we still want them to stay around the community in some form or another so we're going to get that with Octane which is great but also what does this mean for the rest of Roster Mania because Thieves now need a new main AR Optic can't get Octane. They've known that for some time. FaZe can't get Octane. And Thieves also can't get Octane. So this really does blow the doors off in terms of what many are spots are up for grabs. The market was already chaotic. Now they are going to be scrambling to get a good replacement in. But very much intrigued here. Your thoughts in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Take care. Congrats to Octane. And I'll see you next time.